Hello and welcome to your December 2nd daily reading. This is the daily vibe for December 2nd. I had a divine idea, divine conversation uh, with a good friend of mine and she said, why don't you pull out all your special cards? And I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. So we have our standard reading cards and then I have some oracle cards, angel cards, and law of attraction cards. So let's see what the December 2nd's daily vibe is, okay? Um, I'm going to shuffle these. I'm going to lay them face down so we won't even know what they are. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow us to have the information we seek to assist us in remaining on our highest possible spiritual path. This is a collective reading for all viewers, no matter what your sign is. This is about the daily vibe. So uh, no matter what your sign is, this is the vibe of the day. That's basically, oh, I'm going to turn that. Sorry, I wasn't going to do that. We're going to go face down. We know what the first one is. Oh, you got a peek. <laughs> okay, I've got three of those. I'm going to do shuffle the angel cards. I'm going to pull one angel card. I am going to do clarifiers on the three main cards here. Sorry, I almost gave it to you there again. These are kind of obvious. It's going to give you the immediate uh, vibe because they there's no hiding what this what the cards say on them. Both sides say the statement, so these are the law of attraction. And I think this is going to set up the very beginning. The empowerment card is what we have. We like that. It's a good Sunday card. And then we have the oracle cards. These are huge, but they're beautiful. And I'm going to lay that card here. Okay. So we have our three. I just want to get all the cards out. Three clarifiers. We'll look at those after we look at the cards. And I've already spoken the prayer, so I feel like it covers everything so far. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what the day brings. There's a lot of anxiety going on here. But you've got the support of your family and friends. And your higher self. So, starting off with this, uh, this combination here. The empowerment with the... I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered. So, this is the direct opposite of this fear. So, this is telling you... Realize who you are. Don't allow yourself to be overtaken by the anxiety, okay? And use your thoughts to serve you and don't let yourself be a slave to them. Uh, this is about not, you're, tor you're allowing yourself to be tortured by your own mind. So uh, the best way to solve having yourself overthink is to concentrate on the solution or to take action. Action always trumps anxiety and fear. Um, you don't really have uh, anything to really worry about because you've got your uh, family, your soul family here. Now, this doesn't mean that it has to be somebody who's directly related to you in this lifetime, but they are people who've been through lifetimes with you and you and you them helping you and assisting you whenever you need it. And these are people you can count on all the way to the to the floor. They will they will go right along with you no matter what happens. They're there with you. And these are people that you know they're you're somehow uh, karmically connected to you because you feel it. You feel there's a past life connection. Now, for some of you, you're having anxiety about a new relationship because you can feel that it's got that dynamic energy of, of the soulmate. And it does bring fear when we, when we get into something like that because it makes us think we're not good enough. It makes us think that something's going to go wrong. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that happen when you when you really realize you're in the for real thing. Now, for some of us who are not with anyone at this time, this can be talking about you realizing who you are. Because 
as we go through our lives, we start to understand that we are divine beings having a human experience. So when you actually acknowledge your soul, your whole life shifts. And that's what this is, is looking in the mirror and understanding what's looking back at you. So here's the clarifiers. So this, this fear and anxiety is from the chaos that's going on around you. Uh, you're going to get some kind of divine guidance or idea from this page. Uh, information coming in and the world card so these two cards signify that this whole thing all of this uh, negative energy and anxiety and uh, turmoil uh, is is going to be solved so don't waste too much time on it it's going to cost you a lot of energy if you do don't focus on it focus on getting out of it and the, and, and it being done and solved but this is entering into a new realm stepping through like Alice through the looking glass. So this is something fabulous that's moving you forward into the next chapter of your life. So whether it's conquering something that uh, allows you in a spiritual way to move forward, some kind of uh, spiritual epiphany that happens, or something to do with a relationship, or something in, you know, just your new life path, something wonderful and grand. So in, oh, a great opportunity is our uh, angel card. So this is definitely the opportunity coming in. You see how the gold is coming out of the sky like manna from heaven. So opportunities are always there whether we realize it or not. Uh, it just depends on whether the timing is right for, the, for it to really show itself. Now I'm really interested. I have not used these cards in a large uh, uh, capacity. So this is my wonderful... Um, what are these called? Let me look. Vintage Wisdom Oracle. They spoke to me and I bought them. And I think, oh, my dog is moving them. <laughs> my dog is moving the uh, mount for the camera. Uh, he wants to get up next to me. So here we go. Ready? Choice. It's all about choice. And this really has to do with this whole reading. So your cho it's your choice. To feel your, your, and know that you are supported by the universe, and know that you have what it takes, and know that you are worthy, and you are deserving, okay? You have to choose not to let these thoughts run away with you, and not to be part of this negative energy, and focus yourself on, the, on, the, on cutting through, and, and moving forward, and allowing yourself to be assisted with, your, with the people who will be in your life many lifetimes down the road. And also choice to step through. Are you, are you ready to step through? You've got to make up your mind and commit. Okay. So that's what this energy is all about today. Is giving you a choice. This is that opportunity. If you, should you choose to accept the mission? <laughs> it is your choice. So this is a great card for this particular reading. I love how this played out. I hope you all enjoyed the reading. Uh, and many, many blessings on this fabulous Sunday, December 2nd. Uh, let me know what you think of the daily vibe. I'm trying different things. I really like this with the bonus cards. Many blessings to you all. Uh, don't forget to, to like, share, and subscribe, and send all your friends. Thank you so much. Namaste. See you tomorrow.